Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Jiming Luo, and I'm here to present our paper, Non-Local Deep Features for Silent Object Detections. Silent Object Detection aims to extract the conspicuous objects from an image, such as the leaf on the top and the car at the bottom in the traffic screens. Most recent deep learning-based methods were part-based or super-pixel-based, and then use the multi-scale multi and the project proposal to context the to model the context information. Last year, Li and Yu proposed a two stream structure which contains a FCN stream and a super pixel stream to compute the silencing map and then a CF processing system was used to, to refine the result, but which needs additional 0 0.5 seconds. In this paper, we propose a model inspired from the Mufford self model, which contains two, two terms, a data term and a boundary term. The, the data term enforces different regions to be uniform, and the boundary term enforces that the object with compact boundaries. <clears throat> and also, we can interpret the data term by a Bayesian static specific view. The data, each pixel is corresponded to its position and appearance, the probability. As demonstrated, as demonstrated in, the, in our paper, we can ap approximate the previous MS model with foreign functions, which also contains two parts, a probability-based cost entropy loss term and a boundary IOU loss term. A four by five grid CN architecture inspired from the UNET model is proposed to compute the silencing map by fusion the global and local features and a novel contrast layer is proposed to capture the contrast information. Notice that our model didn't use any superpixel nor ACF, which make our model much more faster. The softmax function was used to compute the silency probability of each pixel by fusing the global and local features. After getting the probability map, an IOU boundary loss is used to penalize the non overlapping ratios between the estimated boundary and the real boundary, and this raw function is end-to-end -end trainable. These are the results of the model trend with and without the boundary term. Notice that the boundary term can improve the spatial cons consistency of the result. We evaluate our, data, our model on six different data sets. The 3,000 image from the MSIB data set was used for training and all the rest were used for testing. The code can be downloaded at the link below. We quantitative compared our method with other methods, results showing that our method can reach the top performance on all six different data sets. The precision record curve also indicates our method can reach the state-of-the-art performance on the Pascal, v Pascal S data set, and our method is a red line. In this figure, we give the visual comparison of our method in the rightmost two columns with other state-of-the-art method. The averaging processing time of our method is 0.08 seconds, which is much more faster than other methods. That's all. Thank you. <coughs>